Look, I'm being an individual. What could be more unique than swim fins? Who the heck were those? People who are going swimming. This is hard. Sorry, Dad. What would you say is the greatest thing you've ever experienced? Oh, that's easy. There was this waffle I had once, in Belgium. It defies description. Aren't you bound by parent law to say raising you, my dear boy? Oh, but you didn't taste this waffle. I dreamed last night that I met a genie who offered me one wish. So naturally I wished for infinity more wishes. Then he yelled at me that the penalty for trying to abuse that loophole was I had to have a spaghetti and cottage cheese fight with him, which was going to be my second or third wish anyway, so. They say dreams are your subconscious telling you something. But I think yours might be trying to distract you while it robs a bank. Well? Well what? Not you. I'm talking to this toilet bowl brush. Many religions hold that all things have spirits. I'm trying to get in touch with this one. I admit it might improve the conversation around here. Oh, what? You're too good to talk to me. Some people say sunsets prove the existence of a loving God. Me? I don't know. It seems like there's at least as much pain as beauty in the world. If there is a God, it seems like a true picture of it would involve some balance. The best and the worst of life, taken as a unified whole. So, while we watch the sunset, we should also be watching Full House reruns? True enlightenment is not for the squeamish, Aussie. Are you prepared for all this, Dad? They say this is going to be one of the most negative campaigns ever. Oh, they always say that, son. But one must have historical perspective. When your uncle, Rutherford Grover Millard Llewellyn, ran for president many years ago, he endured all sorts of abuse. McKinley calls Llewellyn a sandwich. People were more easily insulted in those days. Most modern politicians, son, rely slavishly on polls. But there's an old dragon saying, It is better to know one person's considered opinion than the casual, uninformed views of millions. So my poll focuses on the views of just one person. 100% of respondents wonder what intarnation you're doing in their credenza. As I was asking myself the very same question, I am convinced I am the candidate for my times. If your dad does become president, I want a position in his cabinet. What? You mean you want to be Secretary of State or something? No, I want to hide in the White House cupboard, leap out at visiting dignitaries and go blarg. How's business? Pretty bad. For some reason, nobody seems to trust me to eradicate evil. I think it's because of what you put in the Johnson's mailbox this morning. I haven't done it since. I bet that's more evil than you've eradicated today. Why would you decide to eradicate evil? Why now? I had to do something. Evil's reared its head lately in ways I could never have anticipated. Frankly, it's scary. You're still annoyed they let William Hung sing the national anthem at a baseball game? I haven't decided who, but someone has to be rolling in their grave. 